Intrafor, a subsidiary of VSL International, is currently constructing a tunnel underneath a live railway without disrupting the existing airport expressway traffic. Prior to the box jacking, an extensive campaign of grouting is completed underneath the railway to improve the ground conditions to allow for the excavation of the tunnels and to provide water cutoff. The temporary retaining walls are constructed using pipe piles. Bulk excavation is carried out to allow for the installation of ELS whalers and struts. The canopy roof is constructed directly above the crown of the future tunnel using micro-tunnel boring machines. Following completion of the canopy roof, the bulk excavation resumes to enable construction of the jacking slabs. It provides a working platform for the construction of tunnel boxes. This is a 1.5 meter thick reinforced concrete structure to create a level working surface on which ground anchors are installed and then stressed to a predetermined force. These are one of several key elements which are used to counteract the high thrust forces which are required to jack the tunnel boxes underneath the airport expressway. Two reinforced concrete boxes are fully constructed as 30 meter long single units. The jacking of the tunnel boxes is undertaken with a system of ram and strand jacks, which are linked to a centralized control and monitoring system. The boxes are jacked in increments and the jacking operation of each box is staggered to control the maximum thrust force induced into the jacking slab. We cast the base slab, then the walls, and then the roof slabs. Most of the large pores were completed using multiple concrete pumps. And at peak, we had about 100 people working simultaneously with both boxes being constructed in parallel. These tunnel boxes in their final position underneath the airport express line carry quite significant loads. So as a result, they're very heavily reinforced. Both boxes combined at about 1,800 tonnes of rebar. These boxes vary in height between 9 and 11 metres and they have a combined width of 50 metres. The total volume of concrete that was used during the construction is about 6,000 cubes and this equates roughly to about 15,000 tonnes of weight that needs to be pushed when we commence the box jacking operation. We are now setting up the jacks to prepare for the next stage of the project, which is the box jacking operation. The pulling jacks are strand jacks. The jacks are now being set up and anchored to the upstand at the top of the boxes. The strands are extending across the roof of the boxes through the embankment. A lubrication system is implemented to minimise the level of friction between the tunnel base slab and the formation. The tunnel excavation will be typically completed in 1.5 metre increments before the jacking operation is resumed.